Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a timer system. Now I don't really know what it's actually called, I'm just calling it timer system since that seems like an appropriate name. And a, a timer system is, um, it's one of those things where in camping games you might see, uh, you might approach this part where it's like, oh no, uh, yeah, you gotta get this well, before, in this many seconds or like something like that like that part where it's like oh no this guy's poisoned okay we someone find the antidote before it's too late and then if you do if you make it on time then the good thing happens but if you don't but if the timer finishes and you don't do the thing on time then the bad thing happens now i'm going to be teaching you that right now okay so the first thing we need to do is make something that will trigger it, that will trigger the good part. I'm just probably, I'm probably going to do a touch thing. Okay, so, okay. So let's just make that key, let's just make this neon, because why not? Let's, yeah, um, let's just make it white. Okay, so... Now we got our part, we're going to add in a script. So the cool thing about this timer system, I'm going to be teaching you, so you don't need any values, you don't need any remote events, remote functions, bindable, stuff like that. You just need one uh, server-side script. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make a bool. So we need to make a bool variable. variable. I'm going to call it found, so when, I'm going to make it towards, if you touch this on time, then uh, the found bool will be set to true. We're going to set this to false. Okay, so the reason why we need this bool is so it will determine if we found something. Yet. Okay, so now we got our variable. Now we want to, now we want to uh, make an event function. So... You want to, like I said, we want to make it touch here, so we're going to do game.workspace.part. Actually, I want to do something different. It will just, this will make the code a lot easier. So what we can do is we can just add in a click detector. And a click detector is one of those things where if you, yeah, if you hover over the part and you're close enough, then it will allow you to click it. You probably already know this, so we want to do game dot workspace. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And then dot click detector dot mouse click connect function. I don't know if you if I don't know if you don't know this, but a, a mouse click has a variable called player. It will detect if the uh, who uh, did it. You can you can use that. You probably use that for a dialogue. But since I'm not doing di any dialogue, or actually, I'm gonna use my output and do the print thing. I want to do print player, and then we can just do and it has has found the, the neon brick. Okay, and then of course we gotta set found to true. Okay, so we want to do this before our countdown because otherwise this will only work after we finish our countdown, so we want to do that before. Okay, so now the countdown. We would use a for loop, so for i equals, I'm just going to do my 15 seconds and then that's end at 0, and then we're going to count down by negative 1, so minus 1. Okay, so let's, we gotta make an if statement, so if we do if found then. Um, the cool thing about bools, I don't know if I went over this, but instead of doing a bool is equal to true, you can just do is found in. And if it's set to false, then you can just do not. But we want this to be set to true, and if if we found it, then you just want to just break. And what break does is it just breaks the loop. So this would mean it would just end this loop, and it would not. This loop would not continue. It would just uh, terminate, I guess. And we'll move on to the next part. So then we want to do print i, and then we can just do 
seconds left. Okay. And now, of course, we don't we want to add a wait one. Okay. So now we got that. Okay. So we just do if found then. So we just do good thing happens. So we can just do good ending. You don't have to do this. This is just an example of what you would do. So so good ending, and we can just press else. So now we just do bad ending like that. Okay. So now we got that. Okay, so we got that much time left. So, as you can see, my output says I have this many seconds left. So, if you don't make it on time, then it will say bad ending. See, bad ending. Okay, so now you want to do the good ending. You should. Okay. So, okay, we gotta get over there quick. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Good thing I can click this far away. Boom. And now you said Mr. Tumbleweed has found the neon brick. And we get the good ending. Hooray. So this is... You don't have to put this part, but... As you can see, it broke the for loop. It did not continue. We have three seconds left. It did not, did not continue to zero. So we got the good ending. Okay, so that's all there is to it so all we need is a it's a bool variable variable that's set to false and then we just need an event function that will make it that will determine if it's going to be set to true and uh, then we need a for loop we need a countdown for loop and if we and if the we have our bool variable set to true then we would break the for loop and under the if statement we just do how much seconds left and then we just do wait one for one second intervals and then after the for loop we add an if statement so if we found if the bool variable is set to true then something happens if if it's not set to true if it's equal to false then something bad happens and that's all there's to it it's really simple now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope this helps you um, make a camping game, and I hope you learned something new. See you in the next one. See you tomorrow.